Mm -mm, blurry. Hey guys, I figured I would try vlogging today um, and see how it actually goes. It's my first time. And let's just see what the night brings us because if you guys don't know, I'm 32. I grew up listening to Twista, Crucial Conflict, Bone Thugs and Harmony. My guy is actually filming with a client of his tonight. Twisted Insane, you guys might know him. I will list all his information below. If you ever wanna book him, he takes all my photos. He's amazing. I'm ready kind of early. And we'll just see what this night brings. Uh, the next day. What? Okay, so. <laughs> I felt like I was gonna have such an eventful night yesterday, but things didn't go according to plan. So things are switching up. The concert's actually tonight. I figured I would redo my look, my makeup, and my hair on camera. And also some TikToks. I feel like it's important for me to kind of trust, try to stay busy with that. So you guys are gonna watch me kind of do these TikTok transitions behind the scenes. So we're gonna do the whole backstabber song. And um, Miss Mimi on TikTok, she did this amazing transition. Well, anyway, I wanted to do it, so I think like it would be a nice transition, and yeah, so let's go ahead and do it. So don't laugh at me, okay? Oh, But I'm gonna go shower. I'm gonna come back with a dewy fresh face and some new hair with my extensions put in. And then we will go from there. Actually, maybe I'll keep the extensions out right quick so we can just, you know, whatever. So good. You know what's so funny? I don't like when people uh, gulp. You know, they're like, Ooh. Okay, I'm back and I'm showered and I'm revitalized and refreshed. So we're just gonna play with makeup today. Um, I was gonna do the same look I did yesterday, but I think I might have a different look in mind. So I just kind of want to show you. Her name's Avani, and she went to Paris, I think Fashion Week, and she posted this look. It's to die for. It's very. Let's see. Is that even doing enough justice? How about if I zoom in on one of the eyes? It's like a lot of blue, black, gray. So I think I'm gonna do blue and pink. And of course, when you blend those two together, I will get a purple vibe anyway. So we're just gonna aim for it. I pray I don't fuck it up. <clears throat> I look like a child. Brows. We're just gonna go ahead and do those real quick. Everything that I use on my face though, it will be listed down below. My face is prepped. I don't think I need anything on it, but I love using Juno & Co's Moonshine. It's the best. Just on my cheeks, you know? <clears throat> That's where all my texture is. So it kind of helps blur that. Yeah, I did this um, Scott Barnes, like, follow-through tutorial. I looked like a bronze penny at the end, but it was beautiful, and I can see why he said his looks look scary in person, but they're beautiful on camera. So that will be up soon for you guys. Also, I'm just using some Dollar Tree things that I bought. If you guys want a tutorial or try out of a bunch of Dollar Tree makeups, let me know. The sponge is beautiful. It's pink and white and she's fluffy. She was this tiny, you know, she's fluffy. I'm just gonna speed through my brows right quick. So, little moment though. feeling 
today is going to be a very eye-watering day. I can feel it. And if so, sometimes that can jack up the makeup. There we go. My Glossier Brow Flick. I tend to just make little brow strokes throughout just to make them look a little bit more like as if I have more hair on the brow instead of just powder, you know? So I'm going to keep it kind of light on the eyes when it comes down to the browns. I'm using this Profusion palette and I'm going to go in with Homeschooled. It's a beautiful yellow toned brown. I just want a light wash of it too. Just something to warm up the eyes, you know, and give it some dimension. I'm gonna swoop upward. I'm gonna go into I Like Math just to blur out the edges just a little bit with the light hand now I took my crease up a little bit higher but I'm gonna go in with one more shade to kind of help that picking up jumbo jambo and I'm just gonna throw some of that on the inner corners Go right above in the brow bone area, blending into that crease shade. Yeah, look how much softer everything appears. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and put it on the lid. All of this with one brush too. I think once you get used to doing makeup, you can multitask very easily has a little bit of shimmer on her lid so i'm going to be going in with my cake face palette and i'm going to be picking up the color in you guys that is so time you guys i love her voice that color right there it's a beautiful like white bronze if that makes sense and i like to spritz my brush i'm using this dollar tree little facial mist with aloe water just to pick up the color a little bit better oh yeah that's beautiful I'm gonna be taking my Michaela palette and I'm gonna be working with these two colors right here. If you guys can see that, this is Mass Hole and Iconic right there. I'm gonna take a little bit of this blue from these old Kat Von D shadows or KVD now. Um, and I'm just going to use it to pack over this blue because this blue is a little, 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 little ins inconsistent. And I, wa I want that blue to be popping, man, you know? And as you can see, I kind of made like this little C shape going around there. Oh my god, that blend is beautiful. It's kind of got like sunset vibes. Stinking cute. I'm just really just going back and forth trying to build up this color, making it kind of intense. Okay, so I don't know if I'm completely happy with it. I actually had to take some of the blue off. I got the liner going. I'll do the white liner at the very end. Cause I need a break from the eyes, but I'm just gonna get my face going. As you can see, I got my face down already. Um, I used Glossier foundation and their concealer. And now for bronzer, I'm going in with Jaclyn Hill Sunny. And I'm just gonna do this with, just kind of warm up the skin. And I'll contour right after it. Not too much contour, just in the hollows of certain spots, but 
I like my skin to look like skin, so you'll always see me lose use, you know, a lot of cream products and <sighs> liquids and stuff of that nature. And then I'm gonna go over it with an actual bronzer. I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. I like the warmth, and this is in Center of the Universe. You can probably find this on Mercari. This is not something you can find in stores. I'm sorry, but I mind you, I'm not gonna be one of those people that give up my makeup because so and so can't find it. That's a point of a collection, you know, especially if I paid for it. Just warming up the skin. But I like to keep my um center light. So I'll go back in with a little bit of powder and just kind of go in those areas, make sure everything is blended. Here's where I'll take a little bit of contour. And I'm gonna use the Maquillage Carly Bible Mix. This is the, or collab. <laughs> and I'm gonna use the dark shade right there. And this is in Leo, it's Leo. Duo fiber brush, just get some in there and I'm gonna right there and brush it up keeping on the backs of my cheek it's coming off very orange on camera the lighting's probably throwing it off so soon i will have better line but this is what i'm working with for now you guys so it's probably gonna look crazy in all different kinds of lightings get under that jawline is where I'll just take a little brush and I'll just do a little some some with my nose For blush, you know, I think I want to do a little bit of cream moments, so I'm just gonna use my Kevin Aquan. I love this color, and this is in Tressa Bell. And I like to get right there because it gives me that little sun kissed moment. I'm gonna blend it out, they're just wanted to get the placement down and now i'll just go blend that out into the skin i've been doing that gosh i don't even know how long like i know it's becoming a thing now but i've been doing that with my makeup routine for the longest even when i was like a young you know teenager Luckily, i don't like champagne and like white and just very light and frosty highlights on my face but i'm gonna mix them so for the more natural one, I'm going in with Lorac. This is in Moonlight. This is probably one of the ones that actually look good on my skin, no lie. My brush again, spritz my face because it just melts into the skin. Beautiful. You know what, maybe I'll just use this one. And typically I put on my highlighter first, so I don't know why I did this after. And I like to get right there on my cheekbones. You guys don't have to do that. I love my cheekbones. I wanna enhance those boys. And that'll never change. This little spritz from Dollar Tree is really good, especially when I like to really invest in makeup setting sprays. I don't like using the ones I need, you know, to just really set my makeup. So instead I like to use these to like whip my brushes and to, you know, do all that kind of jazz. And then now I actually go back in with my blush because I like to just marinate that together. Cheek, I'm gonna go in with Michaela, the Glam Light Highlighter. Just a couple dashes and right, right there in the very backs. I'm gonna wanna bring that forward onto my cheek. My nose, I guess I'll just dab the Michaela on my nose. So why not? I should just mix them both. Why not? I usually spritz the front of my face too. Okay. 
Okay, I'm kind of scared. I'm wondering if I should do this off camera. <laughs> my freaking hand, there's a bunch of black in here. Probably when I do like my Halloween-y looks and my special effects, it somehow got mixed together. No. I can do a different color. We're either gonna go yellow, hot pink, ooh, maybe. Purple, mint? Maybe mint. Mint, pink? I'm thinking pink. This pink is looking very promising. How cute! Let that dry real quick and I'm gonna go in with a blue colored eyeliner. I think. Pink or blue? Blue, for sure. This is gonna be a definitely an electric blue moment. Some of that gel liner will uh, make its way down too. Okay, the iconic color. How beautiful. Just for the sake of time, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the rest of my makeup off camera. I will tell you guys what I'm wearing in the end, put on some lashes, tell you what kind, and we're just gonna come back for the full review. Crispy, crunchy, sweet, salty. I fuck with my makeup. And just like that. <clears throat> Your girl is done. She's ready to go. So the only thing I need to do is finish my TikTok and um, put on my shoes and just chill out until it's time to go. What I mess up? Show some shoulder action.
school like I'm a janitor. I feel like I'm getting kicked out of high school in here. Oh no. But I still feel good, nigga, like the sickest motherfucker ever worked on. I still feel like the sickest motherfucker ever worked on. Let me tell you something. Fuck, I'm going to burn. I'm out this motherfucking brain sick. 